Are there any drummers in the house? I play percussion. I said you couldn't play anything else. Shut up. Come here, dude. Hey, man. Did you touch my drum set? I am warning you right now, if you touch my drum, I will stab you in the neck with a knife. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Hey, guys. If you could leave a positive review on iTunes, go subscribe to the podcast. That really, really helps tremendously. A lot. So if you could go and hit subscribe, you've got the podcast app on your phone. So you can actually go and hit subscribe. If you have an iPhone, hit subscribe to that bad boy. It helps out a lot. Positive reviews, and you know, especially if it's an episode you like. If it's like, I don't know, uh, you know, Marco Call from Take About Sunday, you know, leave a good review like, hey, loved hearing Mark on the podcast, love to hear him again. Things like that really helps out. You can also go like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Also, you can go uh, support us on the uh, on the Patreon page, and also uh, you can use PayPal as well, whatever way you like. All of it comes back to help the podcast, and I would greatly, tremendously love you forever. Thank you. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Drumheads podcast. My name is Daniel, and this is episode 92 with Christina Schiano. I hope I said that right. I think I did. I uh, just listened to her say it on her YouTube, so I should be able to repeat that. Anyways, yes, it was great to have Christina on the podcast. It was great to have a YouTube drummer on. I think I don't I hadn't had a lot of YouTube drummers yet, and uh, she's making quite a name for herself. Over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. What? That's insane. So we talked about you know the you know the art of putting up YouTube cover videos and stuff like that. And there is an art to it. You know, there's a lot of mixing, there's different camera angles, the editing process, and you have to be really committed to doing it. You know, you have to be consistent. That's what we were talking about being, putting out content consistently. And we also talked about how you have to market yourself these days. Like, cause you're, if you're a drummer trying to make it, you have all these resources in front of you. It's just, you have to learn how to cultivate it, you know, manipulate it in some ways, but also just, you know, be consistent about it. You know, you can't just kind of halfway do it. You've got to, you know, put all of your energy into, put, you know, putting yourself out there. And it's, you know, it's weird putting yourself out there. You feel like, oh, am I kind of just showboating or whatever? No, you just, it's this the day we live in. You kind of have to embrace it and just go with it. But we, uh, we also talked about, you know, just uh, her drumming style. She's got like this really cool style about her. I, uh, you know, we talked about, Sorry, I had to uh, adjust the light. It was hitting my hand. I talk with my hands. Sorry. But anyways, uh, yeah, we were talking about, you know, the song she picks out. She picks out songs she likes to play. Like, you know, it's super easy to, like, you know, go after the Taylor Swift, like, t you know, top 20 songs or whatever. But she chooses songs that speak to her and puts them out there. And, you know, so they mean something. You know, they have meaning behind it. So she's really into, like, you know, the punk drummers and, you know, a lot of the alternative drummers and stuff like that. So it's great to you know, see that she's like, she's found her calling, I guess you could say, and, you know, just cultivating it. So it was just great. And, you know, when she's one of those drummers, when you watch her play, she has such fun. She's having a good time. She's not one of these, you know, you see some drummers and they just look like they're just bored out of their mind. Just like, ugh, playing drums, whatever, you know, when you should be like, I'm playing drums. Yes. So she, she's like, she's smiling. She's got an expressions on her face of happiness, not just like, bleh, bleh. you know, so it's great to see that. So it's, you know, it, it just goes to show you, you need to be positive and just be in the moment. So it was great to have her on. I've uh, been meaning we finally worked out the details. It was always like, we've been trying since like Nam. So it was either I wasn't available, she wasn't available, so we finally, the stars had aligned, everything was right in the universe, and it happened. So thank you to Christina for being on, so check it out. Go to her YouTube page, go to her Patreon page, go check out everything she does, and you know, go follow her on Instagram and all that stuff as well. So here it is, episode 92 with Christina. Check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Drumheads Podcast. My name is Daniel and I am joined by Christina Siano. Did I do it? 
Yes, you did. Thanks so much for having me. Word. Okay, good. I feel good today. <laughs> uh, it's It has been a long time coming having you on the podcast, and I'm so glad we have finally got uh, a chance to do it. I'm pumped about this. I'm, I am super excited. So, Because you just recently hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and that is Thank awesome. You. Thank yes. you. Yeah, uh, yesterday we hit it, so, so I'm still uh, pretty high off of that event. Oh, I, 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 I could imagine there was not a lot of sleep uh, last night. You are probably not, like just... Yeah. Buzz. I was just partying. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually did a live stream event yesterday to celebrate with all like my subscribers, and mm -hmm. it was just we were having a blast yesterday. Nice. That is such a, it's like a mind blowing thing, isn't it? Like to like hit a hundred thousand, you know, subscribers. You know, and you know, for me, when I hit like a thousand followers on Instagram, I'm like, woohoo! You know, <laughs> but the yeah, I mean, even like a hundred subscribers, I remember hitting that, and I thought it was like the greatest day of my life. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just, I'm really grateful that it's gotten this far and c continues to just keep pushing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's the trajectory is like, just, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. So I guess that's where we could start off on is, so did you grow up in like a musical family or anything like that? Or are you kind of like the black sheep of the family, like I am? My, my dad is a guitar player okay. um, and he has a music store. So I definitely get this from him. Uh, um, uh -huh. Yeah, but drums. I'm the I'm the only drummer in the family. Nice. So, yeah. So what what kind of like led you to want to start playing drums? Well, I started out with guitar because he put me into that, and then <laughs> I, I did that for I think a year, and I just really hated it. I wanted to just move around more. Mm -hmm. I guess I was a hyper child, and then just one Christmas they got me a little red drum set, and it just stuck. Thirteen years later, here we are. Nice. Nice. So what 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 was like the the catalyst? Like what was the thing that like you know like did you see a drummer that you looked up to and you're like that's what I want to do? Um, I think it was Travis Barker. Mm -hmm. I mean he's he's my favorite now, and I think that's what really got me into it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, he, uh, you know, he was. I'm dating myself. Blink Eighty Two back in high school was like they came out with Enemy of the State and. Mm -hmm. That was like, whoa, where, where'd this guy come from? And yeah. you're like, wow, you can be a fun drummer and be really talented, but also have like this whole persona about you, you know, doing yeah. like a reality show, you can do a clothing and all this stuff. And it just like, it grabbed a lot of people. Yeah. That's yeah. what got me. I mean, I even, I read his memoir that he released, I think a few years ago at this point. Mm -hmm. um, just everything about him. I was just obsessed with for a while. Hmm. Have you seen him live? I saw him live once, once. So like last, last summer. I was fifth row at a Blink concert. It was the best time ever. Nice. I saw yeah. I saw them back in 2000 with Green Day. Ooh. Yeah. That That's was, a good that time, was, too. That was a fun <laughs> show. Yeah. And that was when Green Day was opening for Blink-182, which was, you know, it's mind-boggling. But it was, yeah. That's crazy. So, so, uh, so it sounds like the punk scene kind of like drew you in, correct? Definitely. Was... Uh, I'm getting back into that scene now. Oh, okay. A lot, of, a lot of my recent covers, I'm doing like old punk songs like Good Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I covered some Blink, uh, My Chemical Romance. Mm -hmm. I'm getting back into that now, and it's great. Nice. So yeah. did, did you do like any school band or anything like that, or was it just strictly garage kind of stuff? None of, none of my schools had a music program. Really? Not even like... Music history, nothing. So this was just all me. Wow, they just yeah. did, they just didn't offer anything. Just nothing? I, I went to I went to private schools. And oh, I guess, okay. Yeah, the music, they didn't really care. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was more or less just hearing music through your friends and what's going on in pop culture. That's how you kind of came into it, I guess you could say. Pretty, pretty much, and then I discovered YouTube and I started watching other YouTube drummers, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's just how we got here. Yeah. So speaking of how we got here, so what was the thing that are like, I'm going to start doing drum covers and putting them up on YouTube. What led you to start doing that? So I have family that lives overseas and I just kind of wanted to show them what I do because I don't get to see them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's, that's just how it started. I was just sending it out to my family. Um, and then eventually I just started posting a little more and then it just kind of started to pick up. I've been posting for, I think seven years now. So it's been a while. Wow. That's like, that's a I mean, that's like impressive because, you know, a lot of the YouTube drummers, you know, started doing it two, three years ago, but, you know, seven years, that's, 
that's yeah. that's that's commitment right there. I, thank you. I mean, I'd say I I just started taking it seriously about two or three years ago. Huh. So like, not the whole seven years I was serious, but yeah, I still yeah. started seven years ago. Yeah. So it, it just started out. You just kind of just set up your kit in your room and just threw a video camera on it and just uploaded. Yeah, I I just had like this little pink Canon digital camera. Mm -hmm. Um, no microphones. I didn't know how to sync the audio with the video. It was just like horrible quality, but it was, it was better than nothing. I thought it was amazing when I first posted it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I remember posting like, the first video I did. It's like, woo, and then, you know, it's like, wow, that's horrible. You know? yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like watching it whenever I need a laugh because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> nice. So <laughs> when when was like that moment you're like, I want to take this serious? Like when, so it's just like, Yeah. It was at my first NAM convention. Nice. So I think I went to my first one three years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just went to my third. Um, so yeah, just like getting to talk to all the companies there, and then I made connections. And I'm like, hey, I now I want to take this seriously, so the companies can take me seriously. Mm -hmm. And that's just when I really started publishing videos and just bettering my quality, really in general. Oh yeah, and yeah. it's uh, there's a lot of production that goes into that. You know, it's not just setting up a video camera and just hitting record and you know the syncing the mixing of the tracks the and you've got multiple camera angles too so yeah yeah the, a lot goes into it definitely but it's 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 a lot of fun i love doing it yeah well and you know it, it's it's almost like a labor of love it sounds like you know it's you know you you really have to be committed you can't just half-ass it there's no two ways about yeah. it yeah because the the viewers will know if you half-ass it 100 yeah. percent and they'll let you know. They're <laughs> oh. very cool. <laughs> yeah. YouTube YouTube comments can be brutal sometimes. Oh oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just not I just try not to read them. I just like I'm just gonna ignore that, you know. Yeah. See, I read every single comment oh, because you I do? I like answering to as many people as I can. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm reading those. I am gonna see the negative ones, I'm gonna see the positive ones, see everything. I guess after a while you can like learn who's just trying to be a troll. And just trying oh, to yeah. just get aroused out of you, you're like, I'll just ignore that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, I I know how to handle the haters at this point in my career. Yeah, it, it it takes a little bit of an adjustment getting used to like criticism, like and at a mass scale, you know. Yeah. Um, especially now because I'm like my channel started to pick up a little more. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot more like haters, which I was expecting to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you could tell when it's. Just like they're just trying to be nasty. Like they yeah. they don't even care about the video. They just want to hear themselves speak, really, mm -hmm. or just see themselves speak. Well, and I heard a YouTuber just say that it's more or less they like you so much. The only way they can like express it is through like being hateful, like, or that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like well, that's such a weird thing to do. It's like I'm gonna be just nasty to this person, but I love them to death. It's like you know, it's like well, when little kids have like a crush on someone, they'll just pick on yeah or their, they, yeah yeah exactly it's the same thing yeah yeah and it's just learning that balance of just like okay i'm just gonna ignore that and walk away yeah what i do now I, I don't even ignore it sometimes um if it's not too bad of a comment i just like answering really sarcastically mm -hmm, so i'm mm -hmm. just like i just like give it right to them yeah <laughs> thank you for your Honestly. input yeah yeah, it's just really entertaining. Like, they might just be like, oh, this was, like, the worst cover ever. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God, this was so sweet. Thank you. Like, that's how I answer. <laughs> well, and and that almost takes the power away from them, I think. Exactly. Yeah. It, you're, like, yeah. you're pretty much just, like, capping them up the knees. Like, ha, huh, I, I won on this one, so, yeah. Yep. So, so when it comes to your covers, how do you determine, like, what you want to cover? Is it, like, requests from fans or what you want to do personally or a mix of both? Uh, it's a it's a mix of both. Uh, for a while, I was just covering like top Billboard chart songs, and that was just to gain you know my fan base. Yeah. Um, but now I'm pretty comfortable that I, I'm straying away from that because that's not the music I even listen to. I mm -hmm. don't like pop music. Yeah. Um, so now I'm just kind of picking whatever songs I really like, mm -hmm. and I'm also reading the comments and seeing what people are requesting um, because. They've actually been requesting really great songs recently, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with it and, and trust them. Yeah, and, you know, uh, I think having that audience input, you know, and, we'll let, you know, kind of letting them 
guide you in a way, you know, within reason. You know, it's you yeah. Know, it's, it, they like being heard and especially listened to. If I end up do covering like the song that they requested, they love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think I think my favorite one you've covered so far is the Twenty One Pilots Mute Math mashup because that drummer okay. is awesome. He, just the fact that they had like both drummers going at the same time, and I was just trying to figure out a way to just do the cover by myself. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it was just challenging just to figure that out. But oh, that was a cool video to do. Have you se- have you seen uh, either of those bands live? I've seen yeah both of them. I've seen Twenty One Pilots I think three times live, uh-huh. and at one of the shows I'm pretty sure Mute Math opened for them. Uh huh. So yeah, they're they're incredible live, both of them. I saw I saw Mute Math like in the early stages, and I'm like, this dude is gonna be huge one day, and he's he's a yeah. beast. I mean, he's just he is. I'm like. He's, I- he has a YouTube channel. I'm subscribed to him, and he posts video once in a while. And yeah, they're just—he's insane. Yeah, he's insane. And you know, I, I met him one time. I'm like, dude, how do you, how do you do all the stuff you do with such a simple setup? I, it just blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So speaking of setup, so uh, what kind of gear are you using? You kind of you you've got a pretty sweet kit there. Thank you. Uh, I am on a custom SJC kit, uh, TRX symbols. Uh, I saw you cracked I... one today. Yeah. Oh, um, that's such a bummer. <laughs> I'm just going to start crying. On, you know, it's, <laughs> I, it's just, it's the worst feeling because that's not even that old. I feel like I just replaced that not that long ago. Mm-hmm. But I just, you know, I beat up my cymbals really bad. Um, yeah. So, yeah, SJC kit, TRX cymbals. Um, I'm on a Tama Speed Cobra, like, double pedal. What else? That's Headhunters drumsticks. Mm-hmm. Drum tacks for dampeners. Yeah, pretty yeah. much it. I love my setup. I, all the companies are great. Yeah. I uh, I went back to look at when you had switched from uh, your old kit, I'm blanking, right. to the SJC yeah. kit. And there there is a, a, a difference in the sound quality, you know, with the, S, the SJC kit. It's just something Huge about it. What, what's the, the, SJ, the SJC kit is just, like, massive. Like, yeah. even before I mix it and, like, get my tracks mixed, it just sounds so massive. That's mm-hmm. what I love about it. What's what's the wood on that? What kind of wood? Maple. Maple. Yeah, it's uh, you can't go wrong with maple. You know, birch exactly. is birch is is good for like live shows, but you know, I think maple is a good overall kind of sound. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know when we were trying to originally, you know, uh, you know, set up a time to do a podcast, you had released that video where you were playing outside when it was like like twelve degrees or something like yeah. that. Yeah. How, how did you manage? Because I would have been like, forget it, I'm done. It, it was, honestly, have you ever felt pain so bad that you want to just cry? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's what was happening. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It was, I think it was New Year's Eve. I'm in New York, mm-hmm. and we filmed it right by the water, and it just happened to be just really windy that day. Uh-huh. It was it was brutal. I, I wanted to just pack up and just go home, but uh-huh. I'm like, Oh, we're, we came so far. We might as well just try to get the video out of this. Yeah, it was it was a great video, and I could I could tell in your expression like, I'm gonna finish this and then I am gonna go put my hands in hot water for like a, three hours. Yeah, I, I couldn't move after that. Like I I stayed home for New Year's Eve. Like I didn't go out. I canceled all my plans. Like <laughs> I, I couldn't move. I just had to like lay down for a while. Yeah, it's like I, I'm just gonna have to take a knee, guys, just for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so. uh uh, you know what? What's the future hold for you? Kind of like with your YouTube channel, are you wanting to branch into other things, or you know, like lessons and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, well, that's something I'm thinking about a lot more now because I'm graduating college in less than a month. Wow! So now I'm really thank you. I'm trying to focus on my future. Um, YouTube related. I mean, I do give some uh, online lessons. Mm-hmm. Not much though. But now I'm actually. I'm trying to profit as much as possible on YouTube as I can um, yeah. because I'm for my covers. Obviously, you can't profit anything off of that because there's copyright. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now I'm just trying to figure out other ways, um, which is why I partnered up with that company. You now, that's the live streaming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Com- So now that's something I'm doing. Um, I'm doing a new series on my YouTube channel that's going to be like, it's called Beyond the Cover. So mm-hmm. it's going to be like a vlog of. When I pick the song, how I check the copyright, how I edit it, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So more of like behind the scenes type things. 
but that's that's pretty much all I have planned so far. I mean, I have a million videos planned and all mm -hmm. that, but um, yeah, yeah, it's, we'll see what happens. It's finding the time and the resources to make it all come to fruition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have like 20 videos that I want to do in my head, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm just trying to prioritize which one I should do first, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. So, graduating, what are you graduating college with? What uh, degree? Uh, marketing. Marketing. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. That's perfect. It's <laughs> fitting with everything that I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, that's, that's the, you know, the thing that you probably get a lot of questions on is, how do you market yourself, you know, mm -hmm. these days? And what do you do? What, what's the right way to do this? You probably get a ton of questions about that. Yeah, I mean, it's just social media related, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. you just have to be present on all of these platforms. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I remember back when I had my Instagram account before I started gaining followers, I didn't realize that I had my um, my profile on private. Oh, that was, like, yeah, yeah. That was, like, to do because then you don't show up on the Explore page. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's one thing I always tell people. I'm like, if you want to get more followers put yourself on public like make sure mm -hmm. post some videos pictures tag people and hashtags and all that stuff yeah hashtags yeah. and 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 you know just being consistent posting i think is one thing but, oh yeah but also having you know making sure that you're being yourself on camera you know uh yeah. whether it be something completely unrelated to drums whatsoever you know like yeah. uh Going out and, you know, grabbing a nice slice of pizza or something like that. You know, anything, you know. And it's exactly. the, it's those little human moments that your audience, I think, likes, you know. Yeah, like, uh, on my Instagram, at least, I post a lot of, like, hiking pictures and, mm -hmm. like, what I'm doing outdoors and all this. And, yeah, instead of having just a drum-related channel, um, they like, yeah, they like seeing the, the human area mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah. yeah. And it makes it more personal and, you know... Uh, it doesn't put you on like this pedestal of like, oh, I'm a celebrity or whatever. It's just I'm, <laughs> no, a, not know, at all. I'm a person, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, exactly. So uh, anytime I have a female drummer on the podcast, I always ask the question, do you feel like, you know, that there are any like pushback for being a female drummer from other, you know, male drummers? Or is that getting better? You know, I know when I was in high school, like – you know, they'd be like, oh, it's just a girl drummer. They're not that good. And, you know, mm -hmm. I find that a lot of crap, you know. I mean, there that still definitely happens. Um, I don't play out live that much because I'm not in a band or anything. Mm -hmm. But the few times that I do, uh, I notice it mostly from, like, the sound engineers. And oh. it's not, like, not trying to do it on purpose, but, like, I'll be talking to him about whatever I need, mm -hmm. and he'll start talking about, like, the singer's sound. And I'm like, no, I'm not the singer. I'm oh, okay. behind the kit. So it's just, it's small things like that while playing live. That's all I've experienced. Mm -hmm. But on YouTube, that's a whole different... Yeah, that's a... Yeah, yeah. A, a whole different... I see it all the time. I mean, majority of the people are like, oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. But then there's so many that are just like... I think it's just the comments that, that get under my skin a little bit they're just like oh you're good for a girl it's I, yeah, like i hate that i hate yeah, that. Those, yeah those little things or um what else there's there's always just like oh you only have this fan base because you're a girl and mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. but i mean it's not all negative because honestly like i'm not naive i know that a lot of people click on my video because they see the thumbnail like it's a girl playing the drums mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so like if that's what's getting them to click on my videos and like discover my channel, mm -hmm. then sure, so be it. And yeah. then if if they like what they what they see, then they'll subscribe and whatever. So there's definitely like positive and negative, but I see it way more as a positive. Yeah. Like it's it's a little more unique, I guess. It helps me stand out. Yeah, and I've had several. You know, I think you're probably about the maybe tenth female drummer I've had on the podcast, and it's a question I ask because you know I feel like. We've progressed as a society, you know, we've more been more embracing of, you know, there's not this female, male, you know, going back yeah. and forth kind of thing. But it, it seems like, you know, there's still people who are just stuck on that and they cannot let that go. Exactly. Yeah, like I posted on my Twitter actually not that long ago. Someone commented just like, uh, go to the kitchen or something like that, like on my, on my YouTube channel. It's like, channel. really? Yeah. <laughs> This is 2017. Like, you can't have this mindset, really. Um, yeah. But it has been getting better, honestly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm seeing a lot more, like, girls that are commenting on my videos. They're just like, hey, I'm a drummer, too. Like, I'm seeing a lot more of those now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it's the gap in the 
the drummer, I guess, world is closing slowly. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I think just, you know, putting yourself out there and just being honest with, you know, who you are. And people are going to just, they're going to, like, look at you as a drummer, not female or male. And exactly. I think that's where we need to be is once we just accept, you know, I can accept me personally. You're a way better, more, better drummer than I am. And I bet I, you're a rock star. No. <laughs> right now, I've got my kit set up left-handed because I think <laughs> I'm going to try to play left-handed to work oh, on man. my... Oh, man. And it's horrible. I, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a disaster. But, you know, it's... Uh, I think with drummers, you know, especially male drummers, once they can admit, you know, that if there's a female drummer that's better than them, they'll get over that, that kind of stigma, you know, like in their head. Like, yeah. you know, uh, I can, you know, it's all right. We're all the same. Yeah, it's just like any other job. Like if there's a like an accountant, like a male and a female accountant. Mm -hmm. Like there's no point in segregating that, you know? So like one thing I always like push towards people who are watching my videos, I'm just like get the female uh word out of that sentence. Mm -hmm. Just like she's good for a drummer or, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Don't even add in she's good for a female drummer. Just like say, any of that. Yeah, just just drummer. Just drummer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so what, what would be your advice to, you know, you would say, uh, maybe there's a, a young girl out there who's wanting to post videos. What, what advice would you give them? Um, I would just, I always like to say, um, just be yourself and have fun mm -hmm. because people really like watching a person enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want to see you look really bored or just like angry when you're doing whatever, not even drum related, yeah. like, you know? Just even like a vlogger, they want to see you happy and upbeat and all this, mm -hmm. and they want to just see you enjoying your stuff. Um, so I always just tell people, show others like the real you. Like don't put on a show, don't try to be someone else. Just mm -hmm. like do you. It doesn't matter what song you're covering, what quality video you're putting out. Mm -hmm. Just like just have fun. Just have fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think once you take it too wicked serious you're it's not gonna be it's you're just gonna be miserable i think you know? exactly like i went through a period of time on my channel that i was just really pushing the videos mm -hmm. so i think at one point i was doing like two videos a week oh wow and you could yeah you could just see it in the video that i'm not having fun i don't like the song i'm covering mm -hmm. i'm just like just trying to get a video out there like you could see it mm -hmm. um so once i realized like that that's coming out like that's the energy i'm putting out i'm like all right take a step back gotta regroup and just like cover songs that really makes you happy and just have fun. Like mm -hmm. forget that there's a camera there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So yeah. When it, uh, you know, when you cover a, a song, how, how much time does it take for you to learn like the parts where you're almost, are you trying to sync what the drummer is playing? Or are you trying to do a combination of both, but also add in your own little flair to it? I definitely do a combination. Um, in the recent songs that I've been doing, cause it's, basic punk songs mm -hmm. i feel like there's not much you know variety that you could add to it besides like a cool fill yeah, yeah. Um, so for my more recent covers i've kind of just been going along with the basics of what the drummers are doing mm -hmm. but like i'm not the type of person that will look up like the tabs on the song learn mm -hmm. it like note for note um i just like listen to a few times figure out what they're doing and then i'll just like mess around and just see what really works mm -hmm. Yeah. So how long does it usually take you to figure all that out? Is it pretty... Um, I'd say learning learning a song could take between a day or even a week. Like, it depends how, how oh. intense the song is. Yeah. yeah, and how complicated. Yeah. And so exactly. when, you, when you record a video, how long does it take typically from when you, you know, hit record to when you post to YouTube? How long does it take for you to, to get everything edited and synced and all that? I'd say probably five or six hours. Wow, like, really? Beginning, beginning of like recording to the end, yeah, probably five or six hours. I'll be recording for maybe half an hour to an hour mm -hmm. just to try to, you know, figure stuff out. And like setting up my equipment takes a little bit, like the lighting and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then honestly, just like importing the footage takes forever. Like my computer is just really slow. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that, I hear just you. <laughs> that alone, that doing that alone could be like 45 minutes to an hour because I have four cameras. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and then um, I actually don't mix my drums. A lot of people think I'm the one that does it. Mm -hmm. I outsource that. I have a partner that actually lives in Florida, so I email him my tracks. Oh, nice. It's like the best thing ever. Yeah. yeah his name is Jesse Bride. He's great. So he does that. He'll email it back to me, and then 
I just put the footage together, sync everything up, mm -hmm. do some color correction and, and all that. So yeah, I'd say beginning to end, five to six hours. Wow. It'd take me like... Which actually isn't that bad. It used to take me a lot longer. It'd take me five to six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have, I have like zero patience for some of that stuff. Like putting up a podcast sometimes, I'm like, oh, really? It's going to take 30 minutes? I don't have 30 minutes, you know? <laughs> you get used to it. Like before I had, now I'm using Final Cut Pro, um, mm -hmm. so it's a lot easier. But I used to use iMovie, and oh, it, yeah. it didn't like to do that much stuff. Like you couldn't layer as many um, camera angles, so it used to take me literally all day. Like I would just be in my studio the entire day mm -hmm. editing it. Um, but now it's Final Cut. Like it's so worth the money. Like upgrading your software, mm -hmm. it just saves so much heartache. Nice, yeah. Cause yeah. that's one of the things I'm like, I'm like I need to start venturing out and start doing YouTube stuff, and I'm like. How do I go about this? You know, you know, I've got yeah. the, I've got the Instagram and podcast thing figured out. YouTube, that might be a little more challenging. You'll be able to figure it out. It's it's not too bad. Once the beginning will be rough, just like any other like new thing you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but you get you get the hang of it pretty fast, honestly. Nice. Yeah. So so your studio, where is it at exactly? Is it in your basement or? It's in my house. Uh, okay. The second floor of my house, so it's really loud. No. Oh, okay. Is there yeah. a lot? Do you do you get like some? Some like people like, ugh, Christina's playing again, you know. I think um, that's pretty much my brother that does that. Um, but my neighbor, <laughs> nice. my neighbors are pretty cool with it because, um, like, I'm considerate. I won't play more than like 20 minutes at a time if I mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. if I'm not recording, um, and I don't play too early or too late. So like, they're not they're not complaining. And by now they're used to it. It's been like 13 years that they've been hearing this noise. Yeah. Um, so it's it's not too bad. They're really nice. Probably like it's like living by an airport. You don't even notice the sound of the jets. Yeah, over. honestly, eventually, yeah. And it, if it's thirty minutes of just like noise, they can handle it. Just yeah. turn up your TV a little bit. Yeah. Well, I, I'm the same way. Like you know, I don't have neighbors on top of me, but like I'm still self conscious about them. So like, am I playing too loud? You know, and it's like I live in the middle of North Carolina in the country. Think I'm good. You know. Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. I have neighbors you on have, top. Yeah, you got you are. You know, that's where all my family's from, so I know it. They're like, you know. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, like, the days that I have to practice more, like, a few hours, I go to my dad's store, and I have, like, my old Gretsch kit there, and oh, I'll play okay. for a few hours there. So, well, like, I have I have a backup plan just in case. Nice. Well, that that's good that, you know, you, you can go to your dad's store and, you know, you know, jam out a song and really work on the chops and then take it back to the house and work on it there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... What what other drummers are you into besides uh, Travis Barker? Um, right now I'm just really into YouTube drummers. So like Matt McGuire, mm -hmm. uh, who else? Uh, Annika Niles. I mean, she's not like primarily a YouTube drummer, but I watch all her videos. Mm -hmm. Kobus, I'm still watching his like I rewatch his original videos all the time. I, I don't um, know how many times I've watched that that uh, in sync song he's done. Oh, it's, it's so good. Yeah, so good. He's like, I'm like, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, and I got to meet him when I was in California, and he's, like, just the sweetest guy ever. Mm -hmm. um, so he's really cool. Who else? Alex Rudinger. I love his videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Luke Holland, Matt Jarska, however you say his last name. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, all of those people, and just, like, hundreds of other YouTube drummers. Like, I don't watch TV. All I do is just watch YouTube videos and, like, drummers and all that. So yeah. there's so many good ones out there. Yeah, I, I'm the same way. I... I uh... I rarely watch TV. I watch movies, but then that's it. You know, I'll watch YouTube yeah. most of the time. You know, mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's about Star Wars or something stupid that I'm like, really? Do I need to know about the plot line to Star Wars Episode Eight again? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Stop, Daniel. Watch something else. But, yeah. yeah. Those those YouTube rabbit holes they can they can lead to a long night of like, oh, what was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, sleep. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like. A few hours will go by. I'm like, whoa! Like, when did it turn 2 a.m.? Like, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to be sleeping for the past, yeah, whatever. So. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, if I found it interesting, so do you, you don't really like to perform live, or is it just something you not really wanted to pursue? I would love to perform live. I'm just there's just no bands that what? have like contacted me that stuck. Really. I've been I've been in a few, but. It, never stuck yeah it people think since i'm in new york that there's a lot of like a big music scene mm -hmm. there might be but i never found it um oh, okay Fair yeah enough. I, 
I just don't know that many musicians, so I I was just never put in a band, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, So now I performed at a fundraiser a few weeks ago, and I just did, like, a solo set. So I might just start doing that just so I could... I love playing live. I like interacting with the crowd. Yeah, yeah. So just to, you know, get my experience level up a little bit, I might just start doing a solo thing and not rely on waiting for a band to just show up. Well, that's good. I mean, uh, uh, I think uh, the uh, drummer from Meat Math, uh, Darren King, does that. He does, like, yeah. solo shows with, like, an interactive screen that goes along with his drumming. And exactly. I've seen some of his videos yeah. for that. And I think, you know, if you're wanting to play live, but you're the hassle of trying to find a band, find people that you can, you know, mix, you know, your sensibilities mix with all that, it's hard. You know, I, yeah. I, I'm not in a band, so, you know, I feel your pain. I love playing live. I just don't get to do it a lot. Yeah, like, I, I would love to have a show, like, every other week or something, just anything, um, instead of just being, you know, in my studio by myself recording with a camera. Mm-hmm. It's just a totally different experience. Yeah. And, you know, and then, you know, you get those little chances where you could know Nam and stuff like that, which is, you know, super fun. So how yeah. how how was Nam this year? Nam was a lot of fun. Um, honestly, I met a lot more of my, like, inspirations this year. I got to meet Annika Niles, Kobus, mm-hmm, just, like, mm-hmm. so many other people. Um, and I got to hang out with a lot of my friends actually went this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is it's a whole different world. One, you get to see all the new products that are coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I get to chat with all the companies that I endorse. So mm-hmm. that's always fun. And then there's just like the added fact that people recognize you when you're just walking around. Yeah. So like that doesn't happen in my everyday life here. So over there, when they're stopping me to get like my picture, mm-hmm. I just think it's like, am I in outer space right now? Like it's just <laughs> really weird, but cool. Cause then I get to interact with them in person rather than just like commenting back on yeah. their uh, well and you probably have like people who are like like regulars i guess you could say that you know talk to you on the internet but you've never really like yeah. met face to face exactly it, so i got to finally meet some of them like face to face and yeah. uh uh any plans to go to summer nam or anything like that or just uh winter i've never been to a summer nam i would like to if i'm not doing anything this summer I would definitely like to try because Nashville is just, I hear it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. 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 So I have to visit Nashville at least once in my life. Yeah. I've, I've never been, uh, it's only like six or seven hours from where I live. So it's like, I'm going to go this year. So I'm like, you know, it's, it's great for the East coast people like us who can't like get out to California sometimes. So yeah. yeah. But, have uh, you ever been to the winter one? I have not. I, uh, I've been trying every time it seems like something falls apart because you know, I work. I work in a medical warehouse by day, so oh, okay. there's always something that's going on. You know, oh, this this person needs this medical equipment, and it's just like, ugh, you know. Yeah. And it's just. I mean, to... the California one is way bigger mm-hmm. than the one in Nashville. So if oh, you yeah. ever get the chance to go to that one, you have to. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try my best for uh, 2018 to get out there for yeah. sure. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So, uh, any other, you know, things that are coming up that you're excited about or any new videos you're working on that are, or is it top Um, secret? There's, uh, I, you see, I have a bunch of videos. Let me see. There's one video that's actually pretty like personal. It's not a song that I'm covering, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to be showing some like old home footage of something. I'm not going to really like say what it is but you'll okay. see some home footage of something mm-hmm. that's one video um i'm also doing a collaboration with another channel so that's gonna be like a full band cover oh, nice. So nice. Gonna be, yeah that's gonna be fun and i'm also trying to do another dual drummer collab with someone uh, oh yeah 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 so, so hopefully that ends up working um but mm-hmm. yeah those are three videos out of the many that i have uh, <laughs> planned <laughs> yeah yeah i hear you it's uh it people think like oh it, you must have it so easy you just do this and you're done it's like no you know you're you're in college you know i work i have four kids so it's not like i have the ton of time on my hands there's yeah. so much that goes into it so much time yeah it's but it's awesome it's worth it oh it's it's totally worth it. every time you know i i just talked to the guys at regal tip before i mm-hmm. talked to you and it's like really i'm talking to people who you know run artist relations for regal tip you gotta be kidding me you know, you know, it's just, it's, like, such, it's an honor. You're just exposed to like just so many people around the world. Like 
for the live stream yesterday, I was talking to people from Australia, Brazil, mm -hmm. like so many different areas. I'm like, without YouTube and like putting myself out there, I never would have gotten this opportunity. So it's oh, just yeah, yeah. so worth it. Yeah, and, you know, you look through and you see the countries, like you said, and you're like, you know, I have fans in Indonesia, you know, yeah. and uh, or Brazil and all these places I've never been, but I have fans there, and it's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And so, uh, I just blanked on what I was going to say. That happens. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was thinking about uh, uh, Brazil, then I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, I'm hungry, because I hadn't eaten anything yet. So I'm like, <laughs> hmm, Brazilian. But anyways. Uh, oh, now I remember. Uh, so what do you like to do uh, in your spare time other than play drums? Or do you not uh, have spare time? Yeah, there's not much spare time, but yeah. I, I do enjoy like hanging out with friends. Mm -hmm. I'm really into hiking and just walking in general. Mm -hmm. So especially now, since the weather's getting nicer, mm -hmm. I'm just outside as much as possible. Um, what else do I do? I do a lot of reading now. I got into reading mm. like motivational books because those are just great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's really not that much time uh, yeah. that I could just like you know, do anything, but I do want to start, you know, just exploring and just going to different states mm -hmm. and just like discovering different areas. That oh, would be yeah. cool. It's fun. Uh, you know, I've been to, I think, I think 26 states, you know, in the United States. So it's, it's fun to cool. see different perspectives and all that stuff. And yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, I just think it's important as drummers, sometimes we get so bogged down playing drums and trying to do you know, production stuff and all that, that we forget to, like, relax sometimes. So it's it's always yeah. good to hear you have something you can kind of, you know, separate yourself from the drums just for a little bit and get your head in the yeah. right place and then come back to it. I just got in the habit because, yeah, I, I was just getting so obsessed. I'm like, okay, no, you stop canceling on your friends. Like, go mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. instead of, like, editing this video. So mm -hmm. I started doing that because, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just for your own sanity, like, you have to... You can't just sit in this, I'm just in a dark studio, like, all day editing. I can't do it all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. And, you know, and just, uh, you know, taking time, you know, like, you know, to go on a hike, you know. Because I saw, like, your video vlog where you were doing some, like, obstacle course or something like that. That looked yeah, pretty I rad. Yeah, like, a terrain race the other day. It was crazy. Oh, I would, I'd be, like, five seconds in, like, <gasps> oh. I, I, I couldn't move for, like, two days after that. Like, I was just exhausted it was, really? it was probably the most intense thing i've ever done it was it was nuts yeah it, it looked like uh like uh i'm gonna have to just take off the whole week to just recoup yeah <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much yeah cool so uh um yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything else that anything uh, oh you you do patreon so uh tell everybody about your patreon yeah um for my patreon if you don't know what patreon is you basically can pledge money to get certain rewards mm -hmm. so i have like a bunch of different tiers i have like a one dollar five dollar ten and so on mm -hmm. and like the rewards range from me following you on your social media mm -hmm. to uh autograph pictures drumsticks uh skype calls i do a lot of skype calls and uh handwritten letters personalized boxes it's just it's a, it's a way of me giving back for people that support me, really. Mm -hmm. And they get to know me a little more, and I get to know them more because we'll just be chatting every day if they want to. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just it's just one step further than YouTube. Yeah. So I think it's really cool. Yeah, and, you know, I'll see your videos, you know, where you're throwing the envelopes for, you know, people who pledged and stuff like that, and it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I just it's a way to connect more, really. Yeah, and it's awesome to have that that ability to, you know, have a little bit of money because, you know, st stuff costs, you know, everyone exactly. thinks, everyone thinks, oh, you get a hundred thousand subscribers, you know, you must be making big bucks. It's like, no, not really. I get all the time. I'm like, but you see, I'm a drum channel, so I don't because there's copyright with every video. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it, it's, it's another way of me just trying to make a career out of what I love to do. So yeah, if I, the Patreon's great at supporting and then the live streaming just like any ways that i could try to keep doing what i'm doing before i have to stop all of it and get a real job or something yeah. you know I'm trying to hold on to this yeah and i'm not a fan of working uh, a lot you know so yeah. it's overrated <laughs> I, I could never work i could never work like an office job mm -hmm. i would never survive like that mm -hmm. so i'm just trying to just manipulate ways of 
keeping this going, really. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, and I do it because it's like, uh, you know, I, I love my job, and uh, I'm glad I get to, you know, be moving, moving around and doing things and seeing people, but, you know, uh, it'd be nice, you know, to this be my full-time job and, you know, and not have to take the day off and kick the kids out of the house to do a podcast, <laughs> you know. Exactly. As you could probably tell from the background. Uh, oh, I, I love it. Dinosaur room. I, uh, I'm in their playroom. Like, <laughs> one part of the playroom has got my kit set up, and then the other part has got all their shenanigans. So, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's uh, you got to learn the balance. You know, that's the thing, too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, well, uh, I really appreciate you taking time to talk to me, and we finally got this uh, nailed down. Thank you for having me. I know after all this, the struggles. Yeah, I know. To... <laughs> the struggles are real, people. Mostly at my end, but yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's it. You know, uh, I've been following you for a while. And it's like you know, I, your your attitude toward drumming in the community and all that. It's just really positive, and I like that. So thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, where else can people find you besides YouTube? You got Facebook and all that, Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm I'm everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, and that's uh, you have to be these days. You can't just exactly. like you can't just do like one because I'll have people like yeah. I I do this. It's like do you do this, this, and this? They're like no, Mike, that's your problem. You know <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Cool. The only thing I don't do that much is Snapchat. That's the only thing. I can't for the life of me figure it out. I have it. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? It's, yeah, people keep people keep adding me on it, but I'm I just never go on. Yeah, I I I'm like it's been probably two months since I've been on it. I'm like, what am I supposed to Snapchat my drum set? You know, I'm yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> this makes no sense. But uh, and then a couple months from now there'll probably be something completely different to do. You know. Oh yeah. And then with Instagram, you've got Snapchat kind of built into it, anyways. Yeah, with the Instagram stories. So that's something I like to use a lot. Like you just saw my crack symbol today on my Instagram story. Yeah. And yeah. and it's fun having those because like sometimes you don't want to put that up as like a, a permanent photo. You know, you're just kind of like you know, ah, this sucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Well, uh, again, uh, anytime you want to be on, just let me know. We'll figure something out. But uh, you know, uh, I, I just like having uh, all different types of perspectives. So thank you for this being was on. awesome. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. Well, let me uh, hit uh, stop real quick.